right, so we're about um, 350 miles to the west of Fiji, having departed New Caledonia. It's uh, 6 a.m. and we want to just check the weather for the next couple of days. So we're going to use the Predict Wind offshore app coupled up with the Iridium Go. Um, so the first thing we need to do is to get our position and you'll see that there's a white dot on the screen here that is our actual boat position. So we want to get our start position to the white dot, which is a boat position. Obviously that comes through the internal GPS of the iPad. We're using an iPad Pro here, as I said, coupled up with an Iridium Go connection. So we've got our start point, we've got our end point. What you're seeing is yesterday's um, weather routing when we had a look at it so we'll see here that the group files are 24 hours old so we need to go and get some new ones so with that being done we've got our start point we've got our end point we're just going to go to the download button and check what we've got we'll look at our uh, weather routing preferences we're optimized for comfort which means we're not looking for any wind over 28 knots and a comfort wave height of three meters the start time is now, of course you can change that to whatever you want it to be, but we're going to go with start time is now, and if we were motoring, um, we can say that we want to be able to, we're going to motor at 5 knots if the wind is below 10 knots. Um, okay, so we're all set up there now with our setting, so we're ready to go there with continue to download. So we hit the download. And we can see these are the things we're going to get. We're going to get a weather out. We're going to get the PWG model, wind, rain, pressure, PWE, GFS. So this is real time. Um, you'll see that we're connected. We've got the Iridium Go as our, our connection and it's ready to connect. So we'll go download all. You see up here that we're attempting to dial. It, the, if you watch the screen, it talks you through the whole thing, tells you where it's at in the progress. So now it's gone to dialing. It's um, not like the uh, internet you've got at home, nothing like that speed, but we've got to remember that we're actually in the middle of nowhere here. Um, and uh, to be able to get this weather on demand like this is an extraordinary thing. So we've just got to wait now. You can see that we're connected and we've, the downloads have begun. So it's 5.20am on this machine, just to give you an idea of how long this is going to take. Once it's connected, um, I said earlier that it was 6am but this um, iPad hasn't been uh, had the time zone changed on it, so we're just looking there at 5:20 a.m. and watch the downloads go through. In the meantime, you can have a look at our hitchhiker that we've picked up along the way up the back here. Previously I did a video like this um, about two years ago. The speed of the download has increased thanks to a firmware upgrade of the Iridium Go um, in the last 12 months and the uh, continual improvement of the offshore app um, by Predict Wind. Yeah, those that might have watched the last one of these would have heard the autopilot screaming in the background, um, which obviously isn't happening anymore. We've installed a new autopilot, uh, all new hydraulic steering thanks to Course Master Australia. Um, so it's quite um, peaceful out here now as opposed to um, the old wheel pilot that used to scream and carry on. So while this seems like it's taking a long time, we're still only two minutes in, 5.22. We're two thirds of the way through the download. You'll see here on this one you've got the uh, European weather model with wind, rain, pressure, cape and gust um, as to as the GFS model. That uh, 
cape and gust feature is only new this year to the Predict Wind Offshore app um, and it's an extraordinarily good piece of um, uh, software that, that helps us work out if we've got any likelihood of convection. The cape is a measure of the uh, atmospheric pressure as I understand it. Um, I don't really know how this stuff all works, I just know how to work it and how to read it. But it'll tell us if we've got the likelihood of um, storm activity, convection, um, which is a really big help to be able to plan our routing around it. So you can see here now that the downloads are done, we're disconnecting, we've just got to wait until it goes back to an attempting to dial, so it's ready, we've, we've got our information. If we go close, we come to our, um, our outcome. So the first thing that's come up here is the uh, graph. I'm just going to go straight to the summary. The summary tells us that we've got 397 nautical mile, um, depending on which model we look at to travel. And we've got all our averages. So average speed of the boat's going to be six and a half, seven knots. Maximum wind, wind speed from the different models ranging from 14 through to 22. Minimum wind speed, you can see it all there for yourself. Um, amount of time upwind, reaching, even the wave height and the amount of time, and the various swell conditions. So if we go now to the map, we can actually run the, the routing and you'll see that essentially all of the models are suggesting we take pretty much the same route. Um, so we'll just run it, we're on, um, the, we're going to follow the European model and you can see the boat moving along there. We can increase the um, speed of the movement of the boat by our new feature here on Predict Wind which is the uh, snail or the rabbit. And you can just see us moving along what we're going to expect all the way through. If we want to stop it at any stage and go back and enlarge it, we can actually have it progress at our own rates. We can just move it along here and have a look and see what we've got. So at about midnight tonight we're going to have some um, pretty much headwind but very little of it as your wind scale, so five knots. And then as we progress through the voyage you can see that the wind's going to come back on our beam. And we're going to continue to reach our way through. So we've looked at the uh, normal wind forecast. We can now go and have a look at the, the gust forecast for the voyage, which is basically obviously telling us what, what sort of wind gusts we might expect along the way. So we can see the difference is um, not significant for us. We've got a little bit of gust, but you can see that coming up behind us here, there's some significant um, wind gusts coming through which we really want to keep ahead of so again this is a great tool for us to say you know don't dilly dally here we want to keep going and get ahead of these gusts I mean there's some significant wind in here as you see the color of it start to develop there's 50 knots up in here 43 knots down the bottom here so yeah we were uh, we want to get moving on that. Um, if we have a look at the cape component of that, the pink here is benign right up through to the dark here. We've got very little cape activity. There's some ahead of us. But essentially, nothing of any concern. If we go back to here, we have a look at the rain. And again, the rain is a good indicator of whether we might get squalls. So we can see that we've got these pockets of rain. We came through this one last night. We've got quite a downpour coming up ahead of us there at about 4 p.m. this afternoon, which will be gone by about midnight. And that's that component of the due east wind. So we'll be motoring through there by the look at that. If we have a look and see if there's any significant gusts in there, there's not. So it's not going to be squally, apparently, it's just going to be rain. 
And then as we move along the voyage, we're done with the rain. So yeah, some really good, valuable tools here for passage planning. So there you go, that's the, um, the Predict Wind offshore up, coupled up with an Iridium Go, and we're getting our weather in the middle of the ocean.